Okay, this is still tough with the dry fly here. Oh, fish! Good morning and welcome back to another summer day in Lapland. It's cold and windy this morning, wind chill of minus three, so we're going to take it pretty slow, but we'll go fishing later, maybe explore some more new water, we'll make a plan and I'll catch up with you then. shopping, watched the wind blowing, tried to come up with a plan and in the end I'm off on a solo expedition. Um, I'm exploring, trying to find new water, new paths. I don't know if I'll be able to fish there, it's pretty windy, especially I only have a fly rod with me so yeah I don't know. But yeah I'm gonna go and have a look. I set off with hiking boots thinking I could hike there and then change to waders but after about 100 meters I had to change to waders to get through a deep bog so could be hard going but I think now I'm heading uphill so should be a little bit easier. Let's try and find this water. I have to say, this is my happy place. Wilderness hiking in Lapland. I actually get quite emotional. I really love it. Just been out here in this special environment. Can't wait to see what I find next as well. This is great. It's also the first time that I'm doing a, a hike or expedition like this on my own so, so really making me think of who's not here the wind today is blowing straight off the arctic ocean and that's not far from here so it's pretty chilly but actually for this hike it's great um, I've got plenty of clothes on and it's very sunny. I just saw a bird fly by. Um, yeah, it's maybe not warm enough for the fish yet. Still nothing rising at all. Really hope we get some dry fly action this week, but maybe it's just not possible. You know, you live and you learn and our group has never been to Lapland at this time of year and I know how special this place is but I didn't know how short that special time was. Maybe I did but this really makes you appreciate it and when these huge fish are rising to dry flies all day long. It's not always like that. Now we have the challenge just to locate the big fish. We've caught some what we would call small grayling for this area. They're a lot bigger. Well, let's see this area that I'm hiking to now. There's another very special lake a bit further along where I've caught all three of my biggest grayling. So 
there's a chance that this other lake could be special too. If it was a couple of months later, I'd be more hopeful, but today, let's just see if we find it and see what it looks like. Absolutely stunning up here and should now be quite close to the lake. Uh, there's no path where I am, so I'm just walking through this area. It's pretty easy and see if it appears. And now I see water. Lapissa kaikki kukki nopeasti maa ruoho Vai vai skoivukin, tuon kaiken tuntenut on raskahasti. Kun katson kansan tämän vaiheisiin, miks meillä kaikki kaunis tahto kuulta. I just come down to the shore. I'm gonna set up the rod now, fish my way down there. Probably we'll put on a wire trace because um, <laughs> could well be getting pike biting the flies off. But strap on the GoPro and go fishing. Well, I decided to start off without a wire trace, just to increase my already slim chances of actually catching a big grayling or maybe char. Oh, what's that? Um, interrupted? Yeah, I just got to hope that the, the pike aren't hungry for black woolly buggers. Let's give it a start. So to start at this point, yes, it looks good. Well, <clears throat> a little bit shallow just in front of me. It was deeper just downstream a little bit, but hopefully it drops off quite soon into a deep area. Let's see if I can even cast. Windward shore is better for casting flies, but it may not be great for the fish. So food will concentrate downwind normally. Don't want to spend too long in each spot. So this is new water exploration. I see rock out there, so it can't be too deep around here, but there's structure. I noticed that leader I was fishing with was incredibly short, so I've just tied on a new leader. Um, considered putting on a sink tip line, which I also have with me, but I think this water is not so deep around here, and there's lots of rocks down there, so the chances are I would probably snag quite a bit um, and maybe lose some flies so for now I just go with the longer leader and that should help to get the fly down a little bit more. Fish. We're in a fish zone. Uh, 
Let's move along a bit. But definitely, I think this this area of the lake has some fish right now. Oh, I know it does. Question is, what fish was that? Pretty small. Let's make a pike cast. There's a proper bog, can't get through there. Um, we're going to see where it's possible to access this stream. Whoa, this ground, I can feel it move. And here's the stream, wow. 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 Not what I expected. Okay. Well, we can definitely cross this. That was tough. Okay, other side. Oh. Now just hiking round to the lake's inlet. Go and have a look and see what that's like. I think this could be it. This is very boggy again. Maybe the inlet just around this area. I feel like throwing a fly there so I'm going to go through the, hopefully here without falling through. The wind is definitely calming. I'm soon going to have to turn around and head back. See how far I get towards this inlet and then turn around. Yep, this is the inlet right next to where I was. Let's head back. Oh. I wasn't recording that, but um, <laughs> I just uh, sunk waist deep into a bog there. Oh well, got myself out, thank goodness. Moving on. So I'm back here, the fishiest place that we've found at this lake so far. I've got a question though. I'm gonna fish back up, but do I stick at what I tried and didn't work? Seems silly. Do I change line to a sink tip and get this same fly down deeper? Or do I go for a nymph, maybe under a dry fly, and let it swing in the wind? Hmm, answers please. Well, I've gone for the dry dropper combo for my final uh, shot at this place. Let's see. This 
wind's starting to get pretty cold. The sun's gone away. Well, fishing-wise, that was tough, but I honestly didn't expect anything else. Beautiful trip, though. Lovely nature. Nice hike. Good to explore. Really nice-looking lake. And hopefully, it'll warm up soon and the fish will get more active. But I'm going to head back to the cottage now, and uh, I'll see, see you for more action tomorrow. Bye. Boom! Jumps in the net. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>